What up, everybody? What's up, everybody? I just typed that. What's going on? Cats and Castle Co. I have normal clothing. Jew, Cypher, Melly. What's up, girl? How's everybody doing? It's Wednesday. Isn't there like a meme where he goes, it's Wednesday, my dudes? I wouldn't know because I'm not cool. Mr. Teddy's here. Did you tape that with your mouth? Did you t oh, did you type that with your mouth? I can't read. Um, yeah, I did. I was like, I typed it with my tongue. I t turned, dude. So I started listening to this album today. It's pretty good. Turnstile. It's time and space. It's really good. Um, I'm just gonna let it play for a while. Um, what's up, Leo Meow? Okay, hold on. I was gonna do one more thing before we kick this bad boy off. Like, move that. Um, what's going on? Polly Gallegos. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I got the cats. We got tired cats here. Um, Let's get, dude, it's hump day. It definitely is hump day. Does anybody got? Does anybody have any special plans for hump day? Other than watch my funny, shitty live stream. Uh, okay, so I'm going to watch myself on a side screen so I can keep up with y'all. Naps, yes, naps for the shit. Um, oh no. Smoke a six paper joint. Six paper joint? What does that mean? Ah. Uh, dude. Um. Yeah, no, it's a six paper joint. Let me just get back into it. Alright. We have a great show. I always say that about every show, but we have a great show. We have another great show. Um, I got... What do I got? I got Cats and Castle. Cats and Castle's Co. Who are here. Reference to Trader Park Boys. <laughs> um, and I have another artist who I will talk about shortly. And... Believe it or not, I got another box. Somebody sent me a box. And I must say, if you thought I was looking good tonight, it's because of this white shirt that came out of the box. I technically already opened the box to make sure there was no anthrax. Um, so I'm testing it for you. It's good. Nobody will get hurt. And then I resealed it. So we'll, we will reopen it with the contents. But I took the shirt out. And this shirt is awesome, by the way. I mean, it's like a big leaf. It's like a big palm leaf, and it feels really loose, and on the collar, it says, made in Los Angeles. So, I mean, I'm pretty cool, you know, for wearing it. Um, Nico G, what's up? It's been a long time. I haven't done a live stream in a couple weeks. Um, I know you guys are probably not concerned about where I was at. Met Syndicate, what's up, brother? Much love. Uh, Jacob Brosia, what is up? Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know if you cared to know what was up, but I ended up working at some rave in Las Vegas, and I met a lot of cool people, um, and I was backstage, I saw Little John, so you know I wasn't wasting time or anything. You know, I was doing some, some god-awful crazy stuff. But no, I missed, I, I wanted to do a live stream, um, and in the in the course of not doing a live stream from the last time and now, I got some really awesome stuff. Um, yeah, I also, let's see, I saw Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 was like the shit. I'm super stoked to have seen it. I don't know, has anybody seen it? Yes, Cats and Castle Co. I was at uh, Electric Daisy Carnival. I was at the EDC. Dang, Outlandy, what's up, brother? Let me give you a wave. And camp pin drops, I'll give you a wave too. Um, yeah, it was a wild time. 
It was a very wild time. Dude, I, I was actually hanging out with uh, Outlandy on Monday, Memorial Day. We were at the beach grilling dogs. Uh, we had a cool bonfire. We're probably going to have another one soon, so Pin Family, always welcome. You'll hear more about that. Um, let's see. Yeah, Deadpool 2. I'm going to get that out of the way. Deadpool 2 is... I was really worried that it was going to suck. Uh... But it didn't suck. It was pretty good. I was really surprised. I like the first one more. Oh, yeah. Dude. The first one was good, but the second one was good in its own way. It's not the same movie. Like, it's not... They're two different movies. Like, the first one was a lot more... Like, it had something to prove, and the second one was like, we've proved it, and we're going to prove more... And, I don't know, it just had a different feel. Obviously, it's a different director. Uh, and, yeah, but Ryan Reynolds still killing it. Um, Cable was dope, even though he's Thanos. I couldn't get over that, but they played it well. Um, yeah. Dude, FL Todd, what's up, Bretta? Todd, my man. How are you, sir? Uh... Sorry, every time I do this, it's because I'm waving at somebody. It's not because I'm like, Ugh. yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to interact. I feel like that's the one thing I lack when I do this is that I don't interact as much. What's up, brother? Um, yeah, I also got this cool hat. Um, when you guys see me, it says whoa, but it really says ow. Um, and my friend Eladani, she actually made this hat um, and showed me how to make it. And I really appreciate the knowledge. Um, I might be doing a small run of these. I'm not sure yet. Um, I haven't seen Solo. I haven't seen Solo. Uh, apparently, was there like some sort of boycott? Like the true fans were boycotting the opening weekend or something like that? Does anybody know anything about that? I heard some things. And what's up, Cat for Days, Miss Sharon? How are ya? Um, yeah, I don't know. So did anybody hear about boycotting Solo first weekend? Am I bringing the floral snap back back? The floral snap back. I have one. You mean this one? Um... Uh, you mean this one? This is a limited edition. I only made like a handful of these. And it's so cool because it's just like hidden. Uh, who knows? I'm gonna bring them back. There's a lot. I there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things I've been lacking. I don't have enough time to do everything. I'm gonna hire an intern. Will it work? Aliens, welcome. Uh, no. Solo. I haven't seen Solo. I can't keep up with what we're supposed to boycott. <laughs> Avoid not to talk about, etc. Yeah. Sorry. Anyways. I didn't try to boycott Solo. I just... I'm always like a week or two behind, so when I probably should have went to watch Solo, I was actually watching Deadpool 2. And I don't regret it. I'll probably go watch Solo this weekend or something. I've heard good things. I've heard it's a great movie. I've also heard that it sucked. Um, but either way... Um, I'm gonna see it. I'm not boycotting anything. Let's see. Let's just enjoy what we like. My man, spoken like a true poet. FL Todd. It's true. It's like, everybody has something to prove and we need to jump on the bandwagon. I can't keep track of all that shit. I can barely keep track of what I'm supposed to make. You know, I'm supposed to make hats. I've been saying I'm gonna do it. And I've been lagging for procrastinating. But, I swear to God, they're coming back. I want it, I have, I'm like torn between actually making them from scratch, like having them made from scratch here in the USA, or just bulk manufacturing, but I don't know, whatever, that's, uh, that's the thought that plagues me. Um, I have, also have a bunch of other things in the works that I'm not really talking about, um, but I'm, I'm trying to do a lot more collaborations, uh, that's my goal for for now, um, so hopefully you'll see a lot more of that stuff. Uh, what's up, El Capitan? 
Nate Gonzalez, how are you guys? Except for The Last Jedi, that sucked. We, so, me talking about Solo with my friend Jesse, um, it actually brought up a lot of feels for The Last Jedi and their political agenda. Uh, I thought Last Jedi was cool. I would have rather had lo I would have wanted I would have wanted to see Luke Skywalker a little bit more, and I don't know why they didn't just kill Leia off when they could have. Um, but those are just my opinions, and I'm open to like change my mind, you know. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Dude, comics on the edge. What's up, bro? Um, I am chaos. What's up? What's up? Thank you guys for coming. Um, so yeah, I I don't know. What do you guys, like, what is the overall consensus of Solo? Was it, like, everybody that I've talked to, I've heard mixed reviews. Nobody said that it was terrible. But, is it? Has anybody seen it? Is Darth Vader still Luke's dad? I don't know. Like, I think, I mean, I don't know. I, is he? Is Luke Skywalker... Still Luke Skywalker. I don't know. Um, but yeah. That's enough about that. Unless you guys have... Wait, let's talk about Infinity Wars. I think enough time has passed. Has anybody seen Infinity Wars? Look how Han and Chewie met. Best part. Oh, spoilers. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't, I don't do spoilers here. I saw it. I thought it was a fun movie. And an okay Star Wars movie. The only thing I can relate... Solo 2, sorry to keep jumping around, but the only thing I can relate Solo 2 uh, is like Rogue One. That's what I was asking. I was like, was it as good as Rogue One? And people were like, yeah, no spoilers. I'm not doing spoilers. I haven't seen the movie, so I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, I haven't seen Infinity Wars. Oh, I won't say anything about Infinity Wars then. Uh, but man, it's good. It's good. I know it doesn't follow the comic, but... I think they've done a good job with the story that they've told within the movie world. Uh, is Chewie a female Wookiee? I don't know. I heard things. Just kidding. Rogue One is a far, is far away better. Oh, it's far better. Uh, it's way better than Solo. Really? Man. And I like Rogue One. I thought Rogue One was good. I mean, I thought Rogue One was good for not having any, like, characters that had anything to do with Star Wars. Um, Infinity Wars over any Star Wars movie. Yeah, eh. the new ones, anyhow. I like the old ones, but I read the comic. Oh, never mind. Um, Rogue One is better than The Last Jedi. Rogue One is way better than The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi, I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Last Jedi. Blue milk. Go drink your blue milk. It's fresh from the teat. Um, what's up, Swan Needs Bear? Swan, oh, Swan needs beer. Fuck. Swan needs beer. I do too. Just kidding. Hot Jewish Dad 666. That's a good name. I'm here for the cats. Where are the cats? Um, I got one sleeping on the job. And I have another. Well, let's check out Sleepy Cat. Um, uh, I can't really move the camera that way. How am I gonna do this? I'll just pick her up. What's up, my boy, little death in the building? What's up, Melanie? You right on time, girl. About to do that review, though. Open the box, though. I'm wearing your shirt too. Check it out. Woo! Also, and also the castles, dude. There's cats and castles. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's here. What pops do you have? What pops do I have? You want to see what pop? I only have like. So, I have three pops. I have, uh, I had four. I had the Planet Arlia Vegeta, and I had the regular Vegeta, which is right there. Um, I have Snowball from Rick and Morty Flocked. It's like the Stanley Kamikaze Comic Con edition or something. Um, and I have a Shenron uh, pop. Those are the only pops I own. Um, and I sold the Planet Arlia Vegeta because I'm not really that big of a collector and I have the regular Vegeta right there. Um, 
What's up, consistently, Carlisa? I'm glad. Dang. It, it always excites me when I see Kevin show up. Kevin Kinky from Geeky and Kinky in the building. What's up, my brother from another mother and father? Uh, let's review some fucking pants. What do you think about that, huh? I'm going with the classic uh, old school bag look um, with a little Deadpool action in the background. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen Deadpool, here's your chance to watch it while I play Turnstile. Ah, shit. Let me. Oh, I forgot that I was going to wake up the babies. I'm bad at sex. That's a funny name. Is that a vintage bag? All my bags are vintage. Okay? Look at Sleepy Cat. So all my bags are vintage, and all my cats are cool. Look at how big she's getting. So what's up? I'm here, uh, my name's Otherworld. Imagine if her lips moved. Then she could talk. Can we CG the mouth? CG the mouth, please. All right. Um, my kitties are vintage for sure. I told you we got cats. We always got cats. Um, they got the cones off. They're just sleepy cats now. Look at. Oh. Gosh. I'm reporting you to the authorities for streaming movies with no license. And that was the end of Otherworld. Just kidding. We're all kidding here. We're kidding. Get it, kid teens. Here, go back to sleep. All right. And um, I love me some turnstile, dude. I love me some turnstile too. One of my followers. And so, funny story. Um, when you guys like any of the pictures on my page, um, I mean, oh my gosh, look at this cat. This cat is in the box. I was like, where the fuck is the other cat? And it's in the box. Sleepy. So, put the cat on your head. <laughs> Get out of here, Kevin. Oh my gosh. So, I... Yeah, yeah. So, whenever you guys like my pictures or whatever, like, interact with my page and it's on my like feed, Sometimes if you have stories and you have like a, a picture on your page that looks like funny or something like that, I click on your stories and I watch them. Creepy, right? Uh, but this morning I saw somebody actually listen. I've never heard of Turnstile, to be quite perfectly honest for all you diehard fans. Uh, gosh, that's cute. Um, so yeah, so I clicked on the story and he was listening to Turnstile. I was driving to work and I was like, oh, I want to... I want to partake in time and space, and I like looked it up on Apple Music, and boom, now I'm a Turnstile fan. Uh, yeah, Time and Space is a great album. If you have any recommendations for other albums, shoot them. I'm all about it. I am so out of touch with like new music and stuff. I'm all about that. I, but boom, yeah. No, it, it's such a good album. It has like. Uh, I was analyzing it on the way to work, but and I had like a lot of good things to, I guess, relate it to, but now it just doesn't come to mind, because I see a cat in a box, and by golly, he's cute. The old albums are the best, really? All their albums? Well, I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, they're all good. They're awesome live, too. Dude, let's all go to a show. You I will, dude. The next turnstile show, I'm there. You catch me in the pit, bro. I'll be, I'll be the one swinging fists, or nodding his head, really, really uh, on tempo. Uh, what's up, 18 Wheeler 48? Do I remember you? Where did we meet? Sound and Fury Fest. We're going to Sound and Fury Fest, guys. Catch me there. Let's do it. Who's down? You owe me money. I owe you money? Dude.
do I? Come and get it then, bro. Aggressive head nodding is my go-to dance movie. I, dude, this is my go-to dance movie. Mine too. It's like... Long time ago, I bought a hat from you guys and you never sent it. A long time ago... I bought a hat from you guys and you never sent it. You're a liar. I sent all my hats. Fight me. You owe me money too. What are you guys talking about? You all owe me money. All of you. Just kidding. Uh, dude, you guys are going to send an email. You sold hats? Yeah, dude, I sold hats a long time ago. And I sent all my hats. I swear on my life, it was a black Satan hat. I'm going to go back to my messages, because I don't delete any of my messages. If you're in there. Dude, Kevin, you said it was free, man. Don't be going back on your word, bro. Just because everybody's trying to troll me. I'm being serious. I'm not. Because I don't know who the fuck 18 Wheeler 48 is. Or do I? Goes to his other phone. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah? My gosh. I'm gonna troll you guys. Leave him alone. He's a nice guy, I swear. That's me. <laughs> no, I swear. If I ever owed you anything, I'm good for it. You could swear on anything. But I don't think I have any open orders on hats. That's kind of strange, especially because I haven't sold hats in years. Uh, changed my mind, though. I'm all about that. Um, I'm from the band Sleeping with Ghosts. I'm from the band Sleeping with Ghosts. What does that mean? He can't wear a hat on that pompadour. <laughs> My gosh! I don't even know. What are we doing here? I swear to God. All right. You guys are making my cats really tired, and that's that's really ticking me off. Okay. Just kidding. What's up, Queen B of three? Um, I guess I'm here to review stuff, but I'm also answering questions about open orders from 2015. Sleeping with ghosts. Wait, are you making a suggestion? Because I can put them on next. We've descended into madness. Yes, we have descended into madness. And we will. I will bring you out of, into the light. Sleeping with hats. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping with hats. I don't know of the band Sleeping with Ghosts. I haven't been sleeping with hats. But I have been getting dope pins. And the first one is from my friends over at Cats and Castles Co. Check that out. Sunny Vale Trailer Park. Now, help me out with this one. Sleeping with dead orders. Stop, guys. We need to move on. Sleeping with pumps. Sleeping with the enemy was my favorite Julia Roberts movie. And if you have not seen it, you should have because they played it like 3,000 times on Channel 5 when I grew up. Or maybe I'm just too old to get it. But uh, I ordered a friendship bracelet from you back in 93. So what's up with that, dude? Fuck, man. The jig is up. I used to sell friendship bracelets. I'm sorry, Cats and Castles Co. We're going back to your pen, and I'm going to explain it properly, because I am a terrible person. Uh, no, 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 I know who the Trailer Park Boys is now that you say it. So, check it. We're going to reconcile. We're going to reconcile those open orders, I swear to God. Uh, Sunnyvale Trailer Park from the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, my buddies always watched this 
and they would always quote it. And for some reason, I would always get it confused with Sunny Heights High. I don't know if it's the same. Maurice? What? I ain't tripping. Uh, no, 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 no. I ain't, I'm tripping. Uh, sleeping with fourth grade men. What? Jesus Christ, the comments are insane. <laughs> so yeah, I used to get this confused with Sunny High Tie. Right, is it the same guy who puts on Sunny High Tie? Is he the, he's the one that does Trailer Park Boys, does he? No, Trailer Park. Gosh. Fail. We're going to the internet. Trailer Park. Boys. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. They used to make fun of me about this. They used to say I was one of the Trailer Park Boys, now that I remember correctly. But, dude, this is a dope-ass pin. Um, and if you guys want to go ahead and check out my buddies at Cats and Castles Co., you could, sw you could swoop up this pin. And they have a couple of others, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me go to their page. But yeah, check them out. Hold that while I do that. Cats and castles. And castles. Yeah. So this is their... Oh my gosh. Let me update my game plan. This is their opening release. I feel even more honored to have it. Like, thank you guys. Uh, this is their first pin drop, guys. And they're doing it right here on my show. Don't forget to tag us in your perfect photos. Dude, guys, check them out. They're my friends on Instagram. And look at that shine. It's like it's really shining on that sun. Thank you guys for trading with me. Uh, sorry I'm not like the biggest trailer park boys person. Especially because my friends used to make fun of me. Saying I was one of the characters. <laughs> but dude, you guys are awesome. Uh, dope trailer is no place. Dope trailer is no place. What's up gorgeous? <laughs> dope trailer is no place for a kitty. We have one design out right now with a few in the works currently. Booyah! Okay. So check them out. Cats and Castles Co. They are coming. And they're bringing the heat. Look at that. Alright. So this next one is a secret artist. Um, I got these from... Two Broke Monkeys. Check them out. Their first pin is a replica of the Saved by the Bell um, logo. And it says there's no hope with dope. And so I wear that to everywhere I go. I'm going to start wearing that wherever I go. Especially when I start smoking joints and stuff. People are like, yeah. And then, dude, they got this awesome Kula Koo pin from the old school Kula Koo factory, the ice creams. I used to, there, my buddy used to live across the street from this place. And we used to uh, sneak in and trespass, I guess. <laughs> my opening release was the first time I sold myself on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I mean, you gotta be, you, if you wanna be famous, you just gotta do it. But dude, check that out. The Kula Koo, and it has the LA logo on there. That's pretty dope. And you guys could check out Two Broke Monkeys on their Instagram. Booyah Kacha. What's this last one? Look at this. A little hidden gem. I was trying to see what it was. And it's from the it's from a Christmas story. Let's see. Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. I reached for the last one they had, but so did another man. And as I re rain blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. Oh my gosh. 
a Festivus for the rest of us. Fuck yes. I love Seinfeld. And that is out of that new holiday. Out of that, a new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. My gosh, that is the best pin. The best Seinfeld pin I've ever seen. I love this episode. Dude, check that out. Dude, check out Two Broke Monkeys. They got what it takes. They're out here. And, dude, this is probably, this is dope. I like that. I do the Seinfeld. I do the Seinfeld sometimes. Sorry, so what's up? Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Yeah, it is true. Um... Wow, that's deep, man. You made me think about it. Ugh. No, if you... It remi- that, that whole little, if you don't use it, you lose it. It reminds me of uh, Chris Farley when he's interviewing the Beatles. And he's just like, he's like, hey, um... Is it true the love you take is equal to the love you make? Have you guys ever seen that? Just me, Saturday Night Live? No? Chris Farley? I'm old! I'm old! Ah, so, sorry, um, I got this box, and so shout out to Cats and Castles Co. for the dope Trailer Park Boys, and their first pin release, I really, I really dig it, um, I'm gonna call my friends and be like, dude, I'm gonna wear it, um, Two Broke Monkeys, thank you. But, the star of the show is my cat. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Let me... I'm going to show you this cute. Aww. A little cat moment before I... Open the box. Let me see here. I had a knife. Where did my knife go? He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Uh, hey, Trevor, did you see my knife? Ah, oh, there it is. Alright. Sleeping with El Kukui. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's sleeping with... Sleeping with magic, or what was that guy talking about? Sleeping with the enemy. Oh, man. It's funny because I don't even know if they were being serious. I know one guy might be. Because maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Um, just Chris Farley, SNL. Dude, dude, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Best unbox. Thanks, dude. Yeah, like I told you, there's a cat in a box. Like, imagine I'm just like, and then another cat comes out. No, so my home girl runs a company called on the on the West Side. West Side is the best side. No offense to my East Siders uh, or South Siders. Uh, it's a fucking knife. He's got a knife. But yeah, so. When I first opened this, I really she she really did a number with this one. Um, is there a head in the box? Unless this is a very flat head, Kev. I don't think so. It's more like a book of heads. Uh, or no ciders. Ah, <laughs> good one, Ed. <laughs> first off, shout out to Special Ed Toys for being a badass burger slider. Um, and second of all, shout out to my boy Kevin Kinky for also being a good burger slider. Um, both are members of the cult I'm trying to start, the startup cult. Uh, it would be awesome if you cut your finger off right now. Like for the fans? Like, should I do it for the fans? All right, guys. This one's for all my fans, okay? So don't say that I, like, never gave you anything. Yeah, right. Get out of here. They call me little cheeseburgers. 
Where's my Alpin, fool? You said I gonna be a member today, doc. Dude, so. So. We're, after after I do my last review, we're gonna do the other world members only inductees. Kill Gold Trout, what's up, my man? Um, dude. So. I opened this box when she first sent it. And she... There's like this, like she had all this stuff in here, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Someone's trying to kill me." Uh, no, and then it was this. It, it has it had this shirt, this shirt inside, and I so I took it out, and I was like, "What?" I was like, "This is a badass shirt," and I started wearing it and stuff. You know, I was like, "Hey, they call me little cheeseburgers, eh?" Uh, no, so I was like, "Dude, this is dope," and then I got this message, this. This is how you become a member. A Melanie Kimberly. Sorry, I didn't mean to put her address on blast. Uh, but she has Otherworld members only pin application. She owns a denim jacket. She is a Pokemon master, a Jedi in training, hunter of Dragon Balls, master of witchcraft and wizardry, degree in deviancy from Hogwarts, from another world. And she signed it. You know what, Melanie? You... Oh, abnormal clothing. Take it easy, brother. Thank you for stopping by. But, Melanie, this is gold. This is, like, above and beyond. Peace out, pins up. That's funny. Uh, but, yeah, no, dude, Melanie, you... You are the best. So, Melanie has been on my show before. Uh... And she had she had uh, she had one of these pins that I did a terrible job uh, trying to describe. But yeah, no, it ended up being really like the she stole the show. It was pretty funny. Like she gave me this pin, and I was like, damn. And then like we went on the whole show trying to figure out what it was from, and they just got a lot of love. But this week she sent me these awesome patches. Like, check these out. These hot mistresses all gagged up. Uh, she's dope. She has... You can follow her at Not the Melanie. Um, and yeah. She also sent me a couple extras. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And you guys could actually win one of these tonight on the show. Yeah, buddy. Shout out to my girl, not the Melanie, on the west side. And you can follow her on Instagram right there. Um, that's her website. And that's her uh, I her IG handle. Her IG handle. Uh, it's Betty Page. Ed, you know I failed pop culture, right? Dude. Kevin Kinky, this is all you, brother. Got the Betty page all gagged up. But you know what else she sent me? Which I was like, girl, look at what she she sent me a fucking giraffe, a Jeffrey Giraffe Toys R Us Lego set. I was like, I almost cried when I saw this, like, because she gave me, I we have, she has the I never want to grow up pin, and she sent me this shit, dude, like. If she's not a G, I don't know what is. You know? So, shout out to the one and only, not that Melanie, with the Betty Page patches. I think they're iron-on and dishwasher safe. So if you guys want to come up on these, I'm like, you're, you're golden. So, dang, like, check that out. I, I, first of all, I grew up on Legos. And, yeah, this is dope. Dope, dope. Thank you so much. Um, speaking of... So, yeah, so I opened that box, and then look, look who snuck in here. Look who, the anti pitch Get out of here. Mr. Motherfucking Special Ed Toys. Straight out your nightmare, bitch. Straight out your nightmare, bitch. Sorry, bitch. I say, bitch, scary Terry, bitch. Straight out of your nightmare, bitch. <coughs> oh my god, that hurt my throat. 
Ugh. Dude, special ed. You sneaky dog. This is dope. I love this. This is a uh, scary Terry. Straight out of your nightmare. Straight out of straight out of your nightmare. NWA reference. Um, this is dope. It's a soft enamel with epoxy fill, so it feels nice. Looks shiny as fuck. It's like a like he's about to drop this badass mixtape. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, Mr. Ed stealing all of Melanie's fame, all her star light on my measly live stream. You're you're such a jerk. Just kidding. Ed, you're dope. I love you. And this is a dope ass pin. Um, you know, you know. Wait, I'm a piece of shit. That's what she said. Oh, uh, but you know, I love. Rick and Morty. And I love Scary Terry. So I appreciate that. You're the man. Puts it on his hat. Um, so yeah. I also want to tell every. Hey, show me the IG again, please, for Melanie. It's right there. Ed just posted it, but I will gladly show you again. Because we are going to do a little. Giveaway girl. Check it out. Not the Melanie. Not that Melanie. Not that Melanie also has a bunch of dope pins on there. Um, aside from uh, these patches, she has this cool. Sorry. Sorry, my face. Whoop. Show it. Show it. All right. Whoop. Just kidding. Um, where is it? Show it! Show it! It's funny that I knew exactly where they're at. No friends, friends club. So, I'm gonna let Melanie re-steal the show back because Special Ed, wait, is that an asshole in the back of the pin package? I, is it? You know what? It might be. Or the sun. Is it an asshole or the sun? What if the sun was just this giant asshole? The end of the fucking world. So, Ed, I can't let you have all the glory because my homegirl Melanie is the shiznit. But we're gonna go through this again. Check it out. She also did this pin, the Tomb Brutality, um, and I think this is the dip. The dip. This is one of my favorite scenes in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And she did an awesome job with this pin. And she's starting the No Friends Friends Club. Dude, you have a lot of, like, shops, Billy. You're, like, killing it. You're on the west side. You No Friends Friends Club. Damn, girl. That's tight. But, again, you could follow... You could get all of those at Not That Melanie. I designed it for her. No, you didn't, Ed. Did you design this one? Ten, ten points to anybody who knows where this is from and could tell me. Because I've seen the movie. It's about like two lovers, two star-crossed lovers who will do anything for each other. But I don't know the name of the movie. And I think they were saying, saying it the last time. I drew them both. You drew this one too? My gosh. The shoe and that one. Jeez. Hey, this is a Not That Melanie and Special Ed. Uh, end of the fucking world. End of, that's right. Everyone kept saying end of the fucking world the last time. And I was just like, oh yeah, it is the end of the fucking world. <laughs> Train spotting. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, she makes all of these. And you could get them through her. Even though Ed draws some of them. You could all get them from Not That Melanie. So I suggest you do that. Um, man, cats, you guys are like supposed to be my co hosts or like if not even the stars, and you're both sleeping on the job. All right. Uh, who wants to win one of these? It was a TV show. End of the End of the World was a TV show, or End of the World was a TV show. I thought it was a movie. Anyways, can you clarify, Mr. Kevin Kinky? 
What's up, Heffa? Wait. I'm going to do a Google search after this. Nah, TV show. Only one season. So what happened at the end of the season? was So it's like Cowboy Bebop. There's only one season? Wait, so what happened? What happened? Are you guys going to make me watch it? Because I probably won't. People are still trying to get me to watch The Office. Don't spoil for... Uh, oh, I guess, yeah. Don't tell me what happens. It was a comic book first. Eh, okay. Can't you sit? Can't say you gotta watch. Oh, that bad, huh? No, it's probably everyone dies. That's good enough for me. I know what happens. It's kind of like Game of Thrones and Lost. I never watched Lost. Yeah, you. Uh, so I talked about Deadpool. We even went into Solo. Um, and a little bit of Infinity Wars. Everyone dies, the world explodes. Ah, that's crazy. Um, we talked about my buddies over at Cats and Castles Co. with the Trailer Park Boys. Um, I introduced to you two broke monkeys. Um, Special Ed stole the show with Nightmare... Uh, straight out of your nightmare Scary Terry pin um, And then Melanie stole it back With her Roger Rabbit And her Betty Page And her End of the World pin um, And here we are I actually went for 48 fucking minutes Like this is all Unscripted if anything, I have, like, key points that I'm trying to go off of, but I swear it's all unscripted. Uh, no, I didn't. No. Um, need that pin. Need that pin, Ed. Dude, I'm following Melanie. She only has 34 posts. You gotta start somewhere, man. I had 34 posts at one time. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. I was gonna tell you a funny story, but I'll save that for another time. Uh, which one? The Straight Out of Your Nightmare pen? So yeah, dude. Straight Out of Your Nightmare Special Ed. If you guys want that one. Ed, I want 10% of sales uh, for all pins that you sell tonight. Holla at me, bruh. Uh, we can tell. We can tell. Fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> Ella Donnie's here. She made this hat. Yas. Queen. Yas. Haha, <laughs> DM me. Um... So let's do, let's do a giveaway, let's do, let's do some, let's do it. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to keep it simple, keep it simple, silly. Um, I'm going to take a picture of this right now, and I'm going to post it on my page, and when we're done here, feel free to go comment on it, tag a friend, uh, make sure you're following me and, uh, Not That Melanie, and two people are going to win... Actually, one person's gonna win both of these. Or two people could win one of each. I just really don't wanna make them choose. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. At least I'll take a picture of it right now. Um, and yeah. So, uh, I don't know when this next one's gonna be. I don't. So, there is one more thing I wanted to talk about. So. All right, dudes, I'm out of here. No, Ed, you have to stay for this because I might need you. So, I want to do this outside of this fucking room. Um, so, I've been looking for places to actually run this live stream so I could host it somewhere else. Um, and that's in the works. In doing so, I might not be able to keep it consistent on a weekly basis. Um, but I might try some other things. So, it's just an idea. If you guys know where people, uh, any cool studios for people filming podcasts or anything, holla at me, send me a call, or DM me, uh, shoot me some deets. Um, at my house. <laughs> you can do it at my house, my sweatshop. Dude, I'm down for sweatshops, donut shops, pizza shops, beer shops, um, uh, Dude, I'll even do it in a car. Just kidding. Um, my sweatshop, my warehouse. 
I'm gonna take this shit on the road. What if I did like a traveling live stream where I would just go, like, Kevin, I'm gonna go to your house and we're gonna live stream from your house and we're gonna do the kinky. Not like that came out wrong. We're gonna tell people about the kinky. Um, and then we could go to Ed's warehouse and we could tell them about the Ed. Um, you gotta remember to check your messages. It won't let me send you a message. I'm gonna send you a fucking message. And I swear to God, if you're lying to me, we're breaking up. Okay? Uh, but yeah, so let's fucking do that. I'm down. Um, anybody else that wants me to give them some love on my page, shoot me a DM. Um, we'll work something out. Especially if you have dope stuff, I'm all about it. I'm down to, I'm down to build, fam. Um, comic bug in Manhattan Beach has space. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Thanks, comics on the edge. You guys are the shit. All right, Ed. Thank you. Live long, prosper. Um, Nate, my man, pop punk merch wall. Oh, what's up, brother? How you doing? Uh, if you guys don't know Nate from Pop Punk Merch Wall, get acquainted. He's a cool dude. Um, I teach you all about pop punk. He has a training course, Pop Punk 101, for people that just don't get it, like me. Uh, he'll start you off really slow with like a Citizen album, and you can work your way up to Turnstile. It, that's what I'm doing, you know. Like I was on, I was on Citizen last week. I did a little modern baseball, but now I'm listening to Turnstile. And people think I'm cool. So if you guys need any help, go talk to my boy Pop Punk Merch Wall, Nate. They'll hook you up. I'm good. Comments on the edge. You are good, my man. I'm gonna send you a message after this to ask you about that. It was a comic bug in Manhattan Beach. Uh, but yeah, looking for a new spot, holla at me. If you want me to review your stuff, holla at me. If you want me to do a post, holla at me. I'm about that life. Uh, check my page for that contest since I'm about to post it right now. Thank you for rocking with the hour, the power hour. Let's get some cat action before we go. Look at cat sleeping on the bed. And then this one. Wait, and then this one. In the box, motherfucking box. So shout out to all my peoples. Um, this is how we do. I couldn't do it without you.